Jesus went into the Mount of Olives, and early in the morning he came again into the temple, and all the people came unto him, and he sat down and taught them. And the scribes and Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in adultery. And when they had set her in the midst, they say unto him, Master, this woman was taken in adultery, in the very act. Now Moses in the law commanded us that such shall be stoned. But what sayest thou? This they said, tempting him, that they might have to accuse him. But Jesus stooped down, and with his finger wrote on the ground, as though he heard them not. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. And again he stooped down and wrote on the ground. And they which heard it, being convicted by their own conscience, went out one by one, beginning at the eldest, even unto the last. And Jesus was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. When Jesus had lifted up himself, and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those thine accusers? Hath no man condemned thee? No man, Lord. Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. The Pharisees therefore said unto him, Thou bearest record of thyself. Thy record is not true. Though I bear record of myself, yet my record is true. For I know whence I came, and whither I go. But ye cannot tell whence I came, and whither I go. Ye judge after the flesh. I judge no man. And yet if I judge, my judgment is true. For I am not alone, but I am the Father that sent me. It is also written in your law that the testimony of two men is true. I am one that bear witness of myself, and the Father that sent me beareth witness of me. Where is thy Father? Ye neither know me nor my Father. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. These words spake Jesus in the treasury as he taught in the temple, and no man laid hands on him, for his hour was not yet come. I go my way, and ye shall seek me, and shall die in your sins. Whither I go, ye cannot come. Will he kill himself? Because he saith, Whither I go, ye cannot come. Ye are from beneath. I am from above. Ye are of this world. I am not of this world. Ye shall die in your sins. For if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. Who art thou? Even the same that I said unto you from the beginning. I have many things to say and to judge of you. But he that sent me is true. And I speak to the world those things which I have heard of him. They understood not that he spake to them of the Father. When ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall ye know that I am he, and that I do nothing of myself. But as my Father hath taught me, I speak these things. And he that sent me is with me. The Father hath not left me alone, for I do always those things that please him. As he spake these words, many believed on him. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. We be Abraham's seed and were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou, ye shall be made free? Verily, verily, I say unto you, whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin. And the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth ever. If the son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. I know that ye are Abraham, seek to kill me, because my word hath no place in you. I speak that which I have seen with my father, and ye do that which ye have seen with your father. Abraham is our father. If ye were Abraham's children, ye would do the works of Abraham, but now ye seek to kill me, 
a man that hath told you the truth which I have heard of God, this did not Abraham. Ye do the deeds of your father. We be not born of fornication, we have one father, even God. If God were your father, ye would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from God. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Why do ye not understand my speech? Even because ye cannot hear my word. Ye are of your father, the devil. And the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. Which of you convinceth me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do ye not believe me? He that is of God heareth God's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. Say we not well that thou art a Samaritan, and hast a devil? I have not a devil, but I honour my father, and ye do dishonour me. And I seek not mine own glory. There is one that seeketh and judgeth. Verily, verily, I say unto you, if a man keep my saying, he shall never see death. Now we know that thou hast a devil. Abraham is dead, and the prophets. And thou sayest, if a man keep my saying, he shall never taste of death? Art thou greater than our father Abraham, which is dead? Whom makest thou thyself? If I honour myself, my honour is nothing. It is my father that honoureth me, of whom ye say that he is your God. Yet ye have not known him, but I know him. And if I should say I know him not, I shall be a liar like unto you. But I know him, and keep his saying. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. Thou art not yet fifty years old, and hast thou seen Abraham? Verily, verily, I say unto you, before Abraham was, I am. They took up stones to cast at him. But Jesus hid himself, and went out of the temple, going through the midst of them, and so passed by.